everyone, Frank and Dice. Today I'm going to be doing a preview of an upcoming board game called Quad City Killers. In this game, two to six players are going to be taken on the roles of serial killers, trying to have the most notoriety by the end of the game. The way they get notoriety is by offering their prey in different cities. So this game is going to be on Kickstarter come March 23rd. I'm going to show you how the game plays and I'm going to let you know what we thought about it. So this is just a prototype of the game board and components. As you can see, this game takes place in the Quad Cities, which you would think would be four cities, but it's six cities divided between the states of Iowa and Illinois. So players are going to start the game by selecting one of several serial killers in the game and placing their marker on the one dexterity area on their player board. Each player then draws one prey card and receives five resource cards. All players then flip over their prey card and the player with the highest defense card is going to be the first player. The card is also going to determine the starting location of that player. On their turn, the player can choose three of five actions, hunt, attack, travel, player scenario card, or discard. Now I'm going to go over what each action does. For the hunt action, the players are going to take the top card of the prey deck and place it in the appropriate city. If the city is full, the player may discard it or replace one card in that city with the new card that they just drew. If a great card is drawn, it can be placed in any city of the player's choosing. If a law enforcement card is drawn, place it in the appropriate city and all other prey cards in that city are going to be given a plus one defense. In the travel action, players are crossing into other cities. If you're going to travel to a city in the same state, you must roll all three dice and roll more than one. If you're going to a different state, you must roll more than two. For the attack action, players may attack one of several prey cards in the city they are currently in. To successfully attack the prey card, the player must have dexterity equal or more to the prey's defense. The player will add their current dexterity plus any weapon cards they use and then roll three dice and add all their points together. After every attack in the city, the heat marker will move up once. As the heat marker goes up, it can also make it harder to attack prey in that city as it will add more defense to that prey's card. If the player fails, their weapon cards will be placed under that prey card so if another player is successful in the attack, they will receive those cards. Or you can do the discard action where players may discard up to two resource cards from their hand and draw that amount from the deck. In the play scenario card action, players are going to play a scenario card which can benefit them in their hunt and possibly be detrimental to other players. At the end of every turn, players must draw up to their five card hand limit and can never have more than five cards in hand. The game is going to end when a player reaches the last point on their dexterity track. The players then add up all their notoriety points on their prey cards that they collected and the player with the most points wins. The game's theme is a bit sadistic but there's no depictions of blood or gore on the components or cards. The back of the prey cards is probably the goriest thing you're going to see in this game. There is some humor in the resource cards and the prey cards which a lot of us uh, found pretty funny but I like the player meeples a lot and the game board is very reminiscent of the board games from the 80s and 90s. The prey cards are blank because there is a pledge to have your face on one of the cards. I believe it's for an extra 10 or 15 dollars. And you could also have your face on one of the player boards uh, on your, your own personal copy of the game. Alright, so my friends and I had fun playing this game. It's very simple, easy to teach, easy to learn. Uh, Depending on the player count, it could be played in about maybe less than an hour. I think for casual gamers, they're going to have a fun time playing this. It's a great filler game for game night. If you're interested in the Kickstarter, the base pledge is going to be $35. To have your face on a prey card, it's going to cost between $10 and $20. And to have a custom player board, it's going to cost $30. So again, the Kickstarter is going to launch on March 23rd if you're interested. I'm going to post a link to his Instagram in the comment section. Thanks a lot, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.